When the blue of the night meets the gold of the day, someone waits for me. Craft Music Hall with Bing Crosby, Eddie Duchin, John Scott Trotter, his orchestra and chorus, the charioteers, and Bing's special guests, vivacious Georgia Gibbs and loquacious Frank Morgan. And here with something brand new called Sioux City Sioux are Crosby and Trotteroo. Oh. I drove a herd of cattle down from old Nebraska way. That's how I come to be in the state of Iowa. I met a gal in Iowa, her eyes were big and blue. I asked her what her name was, and she said, Sue City Sue. Sue City Sue, Sue City Sue. Your hair is red, your eyes are blue. I'd swap my horse and my dog for you. Sue City Sue, Sue City Sue. There ain't no gal as true as my sweet Sue City Sue. I asked her if she had a bow, she said yes, quite a few. But still I started courting my sweet Sue City Sue. The first time that I stole a kiss, I caught her stealing too. I asked her, did she love me? And said, indeed I do. Sue City Sue. Oh, Susie. Sue City Sue. Oh, Susie. Hair is red and your eyes are blue. Swap my horse and my dog for you. Sue City Sue. Oh, Susie. Sue City Sue. No, Flusie, there ain't no gal as true as my sweet Sue City Say, I was listening to that song, Bing. Oh, I got you trapped, huh? You yeah. couldn't get out. Oh, it's in my contract. <laughs> I see. You got to listen. But um, really, oh, it's a boy. very Paul catchy Ken. song, but a little silly, don't silly? you? Silly? With that song? Yeah. Well, Ken, I hate to encounter such sharp criticism so early in the show. What's your beef? Well, I think it's silly for a fellow to swap his horse and dog for Sioux City Sioux. This was an Iowa girl, Ken, and those Iowa girls are mighty attractive. They'll turn a man's head every time. That's right. Hiya, fellas. Eddie Duchin. Uh, uh, say, uh, what are you... T- <laughs> say, what are you two Joes talking about? Girls. On the radio? <laughs> oh, no, these are nice, sweet Iowa girls, Eddie. Say, Bing, uh, you know, I knew a girl in Sioux City once, and her name was Sue. That's a coincidence if I've ever heard one. Did Sue have red hair and eyes of blue? No, she had blue hairs and eyes were red. Sounds like a very flashy filly. And what a figure she had. Hold it, Edward. If this girl had blue hair and red eyes, how did you ever get around to looking at her figure? Oh, I'm the restless type, I guess. I guess you are. <laughs> that clears things up in that department, yeah. But don't get the wrong idea, Bing. Her eyes were gorgeous. They shone like two big red traffic signals. Mm-hmm. We didn't get along very well, though. Well, naturally. Every time you had the love light in your eyes, she had the stoplight in hers. <laughs> How about giving us the go light on a piano number? Okay, I'd like to do a medley of yours as my heart alone and speak to me of love. You mean the song that Hildegard does speak? Hildegard, oh, oh love that song when Hildegard sings it all, oh, beat it to the ball when it needs it.
you very much, Eddie. That was lush, as always. If you folks haven't heard the new Kern and Hammerstein tune all through the day, I anticipate your interest and approval by introducing it this evening in the hall. But first, a man who wants to spread it on thick about sandwich spreads. When it comes to making snacks and sandwiches, there just isn't anything quicker or better eating than the seven famous Kraft cheese spreads. And such a special help right now. For instance, take creamy-tasting, rich-flavored Kraft pimento, olive pimento, or Kraft relish spread. Be generous when you spread it on the bread, and that's all the filling your good sandwiches need, an extra help these days. For the children's mid-afternoon snacks, delicious Kraft pineapple cheese spread on graham crackers is another wonderful idea. And for party snacks, the zestful Kraft spreads, golden old English, hearty Kraft Limburger, and Roca with the flavor that's a special delight to cheese connoisseurs. They're America's favorites for snacks and sandwiches, these seven cheese spreads from the famous House of Kraft. When you buy, see the Kraft name on each label. debut in the Kraft Music Hall last week, the young singer from the Danny Kay radio show registered in such smashing fashion that we lost no time in bringing her back. Her nibs, Miss Gibbs. Nice to have you with us again this evening, Georgia. What are you going to hit us with tonight? Oh, the ever-loving, everlasting, sunny side of the street. May I say, I think you look great over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Grab your coat. Get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear that pitter pat and that happy tune is your step? Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. Night. In the shade with my blues on parade, baby, but I'm not afraid. Cause this rover crossed over, and if I never ever have a son, be as rich as Rockefeller. Gold dust at my feet on the sunny side of the street I used to walk in the shade with my blues on parade. Baby, but I'm not afraid. Cause this rover 
so stupid. And if I never ever have, I'll be as rich as Rockefeller. Georgia, that arrangement was gone. The mighty charioteers present us now with the fine spiritual, Little David. Little David, play on your harp, hallelujah, hallelujah, little David, play on your harp, hallelujah, hallelujah, David, play on your harp, hallelujah, hallelujah, David, play on your harp, hallelujah. Little David was a shepherd boy. Shout for joy. Little David, play, play on your harp. Hallelujah, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp. Hallelujah, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp. Hallelujah, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp. Hallelujah. I don't told you once. I don't told you twice. <laughs> That's it. For shooting dice. Little David, play, play on your harp, hallelujah, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp, hallelujah, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp, hallelujah, hallelujah, David. Play on your harp. Beautiful charioteers. But now, I presume you've all heard of Metro Golden Mayor's picture, The Green Years. I would like to present a man who has blue afternoons, paints the town red every evening, has had some of the blackest mornings in history, Frank Morgan. <laughs> well, thank you, but you're wrong about my condition in the morning. I'm as lively as a lamb. Frisky? Yes, with a little soda on the side. Oh. <laughs> By the way, Bing, I didn't see you out of the Hollywood Stars ballpark the other day. Oh, yes, I made the ball game. My, my director, Elliot Nugent, the whirlwind boy, he galloped through a scene in only six takes the other day. I managed to get away. Well, as long as you're so interested in the game, it's a shame you couldn't have known me in my great baseball days when I was playing with the major leagues. Well, I've had a little experience in the great American pastime myself, you know. Well. Yes, I'll never forget when I was with the Spokane Bloomer Girl. <laughs> only lasted two weeks. <laughs> Didn't like your playing? Didn't like my knees. Then. Oh. <laughs> well, that's small time compared to my activities in baseball. Oh. I'll never forget my most exciting game in the big league. It was the last of the ninth inning. The score was all tied up, and I was pitching. Were the bases loaded? Yes. And I wasn't doing so badly myself. <laughs> I'll never forget that day and the excitement that ran through the stands when I first appeared on the mound. I could hear the public address system boom. Catching today, Barney Dean. Pitching today, Frank Morgan. Whee! <laughs> it, uh, it was my home ground. <laughs> Dramatically knocking the dirt from my cleats, I decided to pitch southpaw. Senator Claghorn was in the stands. <laughs> Winding up, I let fly with the first pitch. Fast ball. Slow ball. Spitball. <laughs> Retiring to the side, I went to the dugout confident of victory. For this was the great team that was the famous for the combination of Tinker to Evers to Chance. 
A fan in the stands called down. Say, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Will you point out the famous players? Why, certainly. That man there is Evers, and the one beside him is Chance. Well, who is that man over there all by himself that nobody will come near or talk to? Oh, that's Tinker. <laughs> I mean, that's Tinker. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> Seeking some information myself, I approached a nearby player and said, Pardon me, my good man, but would you give me some information about the baseball uniform you're wearing? Well. I know that if you're a cardinal, you have a picture of a red bird on your shirt. And if you're a pirate, you have a skull and crossbones. Why does your shirt have a big pair of pliers? I'm a, a pink <laughs> Just before game time, I was about to leave the locker room when a sinister-looking character came slinking up to me and snarled. Hey, Morgan, uh, I'm from the opposite side, and I'll give you 5,000 bucks to throw the game today. What? Offering honest Frank Morgan a bribe? I have a reputation of being the cleanest athlete in the game, and I'd never attempt to do business with a filthy crook like yourself. How do you want the money? Fives and tens. Leave them in my locker <laughs> What am I saying? Unfortunately, the baseball commission heard of this incident, and I was banned from the game. This, however, left me eligible to be umpire. I'll never forget my first game behind the plate, when the starting batter came up to me and said, I'm ready to play. I'm Trotter, the batter. <laughs> well, your batter looks pretty loose to me. <laughs> but Trotter up to the plate. Play ball. Strike one, right across the stomach. Why all? That ball almost touched the ground. Strike one, right across the stomach. <laughs> I had been calling plays for some time when a man came to me and whined. Mr. Morgan, every day, game in and game out, you've been sending me to the showers. All the time, you send me to the showers. <laughs> well, what about it? Well, just once when you scrub my back. Hmm? <laughs> Sensing that he was all washed up, I tried to cheer him up. <laughs> I tried to cheer him up by telling him about my brother, Slowfoot Morgan, the hardest hitter and the slowest runner in baseball. In his first game with the Terre Haute Tigers in the summer of 1936, he hit the ball across the Indiana border over Illinois and into Iowa. That must have been the one that smashed the front window of Sioux City Sioux's house. Mm. I presume your brother had a home run. Not quite. When he finally reached first base, it was the fall of 1937. And Notre Dame was playing the Army in the same field. <laughs> Game boy, old Slewfoot. Where's your brother today, Frank? I'm glad you asked that, Bing, because only this morning I received a telegram from a mutual friend in Terre Haute. It read, your brother will be home for Christmas this year. He rounded first base last night. <laughs> <laughs> Because I had found you, I could have bound you too. You are too beautiful for one man alone, for one lucky fool to be with. When there are other men with eyes of their own to see. Love does not stand sharing Not if one cares Have you been comparing My every kiss with theirs If on the other hand I'm faithful to you Not through a sense of duty You are too beautiful And I am a fool For beauty
does not stand sharing Not if one cares Have you been comparing My every kiss with ours If on the other hand I'm faithful to you Not through a sense of duty You are too beautiful And I am a fool For beauty Thank you, Eddie, John Scott, and the men. Aside from uh, beautiful Mommy L'Amour and Hop Along Hope, Paramount's current epic road to Utopia features a batch of pretty tunes, one of which John Scott and I would like to do for you in a minute. But first, here's Ken Carpenter with something very important to say to you. As Easter time approaches, our thoughts turn to the countless thousands of the little children of this nation who look to us, who are fit and well, to help them over the hurdle of recovery. Joy and life belong to Easter and to Easter seals. For the pennies, dimes, and dollars you put into Easter seals give crippled children their chance for happy living. We can appreciate the urgency of the Easter seal campaign this year when we remember that help has given half a million crippled children, about seven million crippled adults, and nearly 15,000 veterans. Since this is the silver anniversary of the National Society for Crippled Children and Adults, we feel that with silver is the best way to say thanks for the good fortune that is ours. So when the postman brings the seals to your home this Easter time, give as much as you can to help our crippled children. Yes, it's not what they have lost, it's what they have left that's important. You'll see the bluebird of happiness on your Easter seals this year.
That's about 30 for tonight, folks, but we'll be back again next week, same time, same place. Bye. <laughs> Tune in the Craft Music Hall next Thursday. Here, John Scott Trotter, his orchestra and chorus, the charioteers, Eddie Duchin, our special guests, Marilyn Maxwell, Les Paul, and his fine trio, and naturally, Bing Crosby. You know, Thursday night is star night on NBC. Why not tune in a little earlier next week and hear Dinah Shore? And after Bing, be sure and stay tuned to the Seal Test Village store immediately following. Good night, everybody. Are leftovers a problem in your home? Then listen to this bright food-saving suggestion from the Kraft Kitchen. An easy way to perk up your cooked vegetables is to drench them with a cream sauce, zestfully flavored with Kraft salad mustard. Simple, isn't it? And this is easy, too. When you want to make leftover meats more appetizing, serve them with a barbecue sauce to which you've added the flavor tang of Kraft salad mustard. Be sure to ask for delicious Kraft quality mustards at your favorite food store tomorrow. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. <laughs>